Those of you who are trying to import from Ultimate Guitar or something else, there's uh, a pretty easy way to adjust your um, Ultimate Guitar chord charts into Onsong with little work. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I obviously have a browser open running Onsong's console. You could be doing this on your iPad if you wanted to as well. But I'm going to go to a different browser and I'm going to look up a song. I went to Either Way. It's a song by Chris Stapleton that I happen to need to go and grab for tonight. And so here's the whole song. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and grab all the chords. You could go grab stuff and they want you to actually use it within the app. Within the app. I'm not going to. I'm just going to say, you know, copy. And I'm just going to copy the plain text, right? But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into my OnSong console. I'm going to add a new song. And I'm going to say, either way, Chris Stapleton. I'm going to create it in OnSong, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know that I actually copied it in the key of D, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to just paste the chords. Now, what you'll see is many of you will say, hey, what about these bracketed chords and stuff? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little, the little Chord Pro trick. You'll notice that my chords are typically highlighted over here, so it's not showing up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the brackets. Chords are normally surrounded by brackets, but I'm going to say Intro. And then I'm going to do this for all the remaining sections that normally come in the Ultimate Guitar um, uh, format. Just do this real quick. Let me get rid of a few of them here as we continue. Bridge. And I'm going to put a colon in the sections, right? That's going to help me a little bit later. Chorus. Chorus. Instrumental break. Instrumental break. Chorus. Let's take that. All right, that's it. And then I'm going to say save. Now what's happened, you'll notice over on the right that you'll see in my actual chord chart that now the chords are all highlighted and they're all in the way that I wanted to. I don't like having that few of words on any single line because I actually view my iPad in landscape mode. So I typically will change those. But for sake of argument, I haven't do anything. Now what I also have is the ability to talk about the style. So right now I've got my settings for chord over lyrics. So I haven't had to add brackets to anything and all of the things are in the right place. Now I could actually move these chords around like so for example if I want to change this to don't feel uh, actually that was a little bit further away let's go toward the top of the song so we can see it move here in the thing. So we pass in the hall that first line right I can actually go and change that to be anywhere over that line that I want to as long as I want to set it up. Um, that's a quick way of looking at how fast and easy it is in two minutes to import Ultimate Guitar um, chords and make them work in on song and be able to have them put them in relatively speaking the way that you want them to in the right way. If you're still listening you can also then go to the mode where you're putting chords in line and I'll make another video for that at some point down the line. Hope you have a great day.